All right, welcome to another video. We're going to talk a little bit about the E-Form Form 4s. I did a video on this a little over a year ago uh, when the ATF was talking about a 90-day wait period, and I had one of the early ones go through a silencer shop when the process was just getting up and running, and I had about a 99-day wait time. Since then, unfortunately, the times have just gone up. So as a little bit of an update, I wanted to share some of the current wait times that I'm seeing. The original suppressor that I used the E-Form transfer on was one of the Silencer Go BOGO deals that they were doing, I think it was two summers ago. They've just started another BOGO if you're interested in that. I bought a Silencer Co. Omega and I got an Octane as the BOGO can. I processed the Omega and then it took several months for me to get the BOGO Octane transfer to my local dealer. A lot of times with those sales, especially if you don't start right at the beginning of it, it takes them a little while to catch up. So it was approximately May of 2022 when I actually was able to get that Octane delivered to my dealer and I was able to start the E-Form Form 4 for the second suppressor. That was several months after my 99 day transfer had completed. I wasn't really sure what to expect. I was seeing those numbers trend up. So after submitting the Octane on May 27th of 2022, I ended up having to wait all the way until February 27th, 2023. So about nine months. I was thinking about doing a video at that time, but I ended up not getting around to it. But I've been watching Silencer Shop. They're the ones that I originally transferred the Omega through. They post on Instagram some of the ATF wait times that they are seeing. So those may not be exactly what everybody else will get, but it's kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what's going on. Let's take a look at a couple of, here's one 233 days submitted back in August of 2022 and approved April 8th, 2023. So that is a little bit faster than what I was seeing. Here's another one, 241 days, also on August 15th, 2022, approved April 13th, 2023. Next we have one September 2nd, 2022, approved April 14th. 2023. So it gives you an idea that quite a few of those that were in August to September of 2022 starting to get approved. Here's another one. 211 days, September 21st approved April 20th, and then a September 26th approved April 24th. That was 210 days. So those are some examples of a little bit more recent. And then the most recent one that I saved uh, was actually an E Form 1. So if you haven't done an E Form 1, those do tend to be a little bit faster. This one was actually 24 days, April 22nd to May 16th. So unfortunately, I don't have the details because that's what they posted on social media. If that was one of the free SBRs for the brace band, or if that was actually just a normal E Form 1. I did a couple years ago two E Form 1s, and that was a MP5K build, and then an AR-15. And both of those as an E-Form 1 only took about 29 to 31 days, depending on when I did those. So the E-Form 1 does tend to run a little quicker. Now, as far as the E-Form 4s, hopefully we'll see those numbers continue to trend down a little bit instead of up. Unfortunately, we never really know with the ATF. Um, I, kind of ironically, I had a comment on the last video calling me a shill for the ATF because I posted a 99 day result when the numbers were higher than that by the time the video posted. Obviously that person has no idea what the ATF is like because I've been buying suppressors since about 2015 and I've had anything from a 29 day wait for an E-Form 1. I think my shortest paper Form 4 was about four months and I've had them take all the way up to 13 months. So when you submit one of the forms, you can take a look at how long they're currently taking, but you don't really know for sure if that trend is getting shorter or longer. So there's times where you submit and then it actually ends up being a little bit shorter than what we're seeing currently, or you submit and those waits just get longer and longer and you expected a maybe a 10 month wait and now you're looking at potentially 13 or so real quick just while we're talking about these i wanted to point out at the atf website there is actually a a page that they have where they're updating the approximate wait time so let's just take a look at that real quick as of right now i'm recording this on june 5th they're saying that the form ones papers are at about 45 days 
and e-forms are at about 40 days. For the Form 4, paper is at about 312, e-forms is about 232, which would be just a little bit longer than what Silencer Shop was posting. Of course, they could be cherry picking which are those that they post. So that gives you at least a little bit of an idea of what ATF is claiming right now or what they are saying right now. Again, if you're gonna make a purchase, it could go up, it could go down. So one last note, I would highly encourage you if you are considering owning a suppressor, registering a short barrel rifle, and you're in an area where you can do that, which is, especially for the suppressors, there's a lot of the states. If you're interested in buying, I would go ahead and do it because that weight is extremely frustrating. If you keep waiting for the weight to go down, in the long run, you may never end up buying one. So I would highly suggest if you're considering one, go ahead and start the process, get that clock ticking, and then once you have it, you'll start forgetting how long it actually took you to get it. I would also say once you own a few suppressors, it gets a little bit easier to wait because you have other things you can shoot and other things you can use, so you're not just waiting for that first one. I'd also encourage you to take a look at this video up here. I did a whole video about is it worth starting the process and getting involved in an NFA item. And overall, if you're interested in it, I think, yes, go for it. There's so many advantages, especially with shooting suppressed, go for it. Let me know what kind of wait times you guys are seeing. Let me know what you think of this video. Do you wanna see occasional updates on how long processes are taking? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.